Okay, in this video we're going to look at the area of a triangle. We'll start with example one uh, and looking at the area of a rectangle. Then we'll do example two and then example three here. Okay. Okay, so if you just uh, to understand how to get the area of a triangle, we'll look at the area of a rectangle. Okay. So imagine we had this rectangle here and it was three inches um, in this direction here to here so that's one two three right and let's say it was four inches from here to here I n is short for inches so one two three four how many square inches would the area be each one of these squares are supposed to be the same size sorry about that um, but basically if you take any one of these it's supposed to be you know one inch by one inch, okay, and one inch by one inch is one square inch or one inch squared, written like that, okay. Okay, so you know what's measured in inches squared? Paper, square inches, um, you know, a table mat, uh, you know, the smallish th things are measured in square inches. You also have square feet and stuff like that. So just so you know, like, so th this thing here is one inch by one inch, so that's one square inch. So just so you know, I n squared uh, means um, inches squared, which means uh, or square inches. That's another way of saying square inches. Okay. You, all, you also might see FT squared. What do you think that means? FT squared. FT squared is feet squared. Okay. Feet squared. That would be feet squared. You'd be talking about carpet be measured in feet squared. Also called uh, square feet. I want uh, 100 square feet of carpet or um, the paint needs to cover 300 square feet or I need to paint 500 square feet so that this is math, short math uh, um, writing for square feet and this is inches or this is uh, square inches okay anyway so to cut to the heel of the hunt we've got a rectangle and what's the area of it it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 um, inches squared. So this area of a rectangle is indeed the base. This distance here is the base, okay? Base B times the height, and the height is 3 times the um, height H. So the area of a rectangle is the base multiplied by the height, isn't it? Because it's 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So the whole thing is uh, 12 squared inches. Okay. Now, if I was to, um, yeah, anyway, I guess I'll write that somewhere. Area of the rectangle is uh, four inches times three inches, which four times three is twelve, and then I have inch times inch, and that gives me twelve inches squared or twelve square inches. Okay, so that's the area of the rectangle. Now, if I was to draw a triangle. I'm just going to draw one um, through here and then down through here like that. Okay. So I'm just going to consider this green triangle in, in the middle of everything, right? Now what I want you to see is that this green triangle is actually half the area of the rectangle because if you think of it this way I mean look at this here. <coughs> this part of the triangle, you can definitely see that that is half of this part of the rectangle. Okay. And then if I take this part of the triangle, so if I just kind of consider a, a line up and down here, if I take this part of the triangle, that's definitely half of this part of the rectangle, isn't it? See what I mean? So the area of the triangle, I hope you can see, is one half of the total area of the um, the area of the triangle is a half of the total area of the rectangle. So 
if I have, and what I have there is a triangle with a base of four inches, and it has a height. So the base B is four inches. The height H is three inches. Sorry, no, I should have written that here. Um, anyway, and you know, because triangle goes down like that and up like that. Okay, so that's my triangle. So 4 times 3 is 12 and half of 12 is 6. So this area is in fact, you know, the area is 6 square inches or 6 inches squared. And uh, so and the way to, and, and the formula is that you could, you could say the area of a triangle is 1 half times the base times the height. Okay. <coughs> so we're going to work this out as, you know, 1 half times uh, 4 times 3 and eventually that becomes 6 inches square inches okay so if we were to look so if we were to look at example 2 find the area of a triangle with base 12 inches and height uh, 5 it, five inches yeah I'll just draw that for fun that's 12 this way and you know you could have a the height is 5 is, is what that means and uh, this is the triangle here right like that Okay, so the formula is that the area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height. Okay, so that's going to be one half times. Now the base is uh, twelve. Okay, <coughs> and the height is five. <coughs> and then we multiply those guys out. Now we've practiced multiplying by fractions. That's nice. I'm going to turn this twelve into a fraction. What's this? Twelve over one. See that? Okay, and. Um, that means I can kind of cross cancel with the top and bottom. 2 to 2 goes once, 2 to 12 goes 6 times. And that gives me 1 times 6 times 5, which is uh, 30 over 1 times 1. And that's one, 30 over 1, basically, which is 30. So, um, and we've got inches. And so the answer should be 30 square inches, inches squared. Well, you know what I should have written out was a half times 12 inches times 5 inches and when I multiply the numbers I get 30 and when I go inch times inch I get inch squared or square inches right okay let's look at example 3 the base of a triangle is 5 7 feet and the uh, height is 21 over 4 feet so if we oh that's Okay, this is five sevenths feet, and the height is uh, twenty-one over four feet. And triangle is supposed to go like that. Sorry, I just cut through the number again. Oh well. So the area of the triangle is one half times the base times the height. So that is one half times the base times the height. The, uh, no, oh, actually, I should put the feet in this time, shouldn't I? Sorry. So to to perfect to do this perfectly right, you would put the base is um, five sevenths ft for feet. The height is twenty one over four ft. Okay. And now, of course, you can just, I mean, the, the feet the, the feet part is easy. The foot times foot just gives feet squared or square feet. Now you just deal with the numbers. Um, let's see. Anything cross cancel here? Can you see anything that cross cancels? How about 7 into 7 goes once and 7 into 21 goes three times? So we get 1 times 5 times 3 is 15 over 2 times 1 times 4 and you see nothing else cross cancels right I mean we're done right so 2 times 1 times 4 is 8 so 15 8 15 8 uh, feet uh, squared of course later on we'll turn that into a mixed number 8 into 15 goes 1 time remainder 7 that's actually 1 and 7 8 uh, square feet but I don't think your homework problems will have these in them anyway <coughs>